Welcome to part one of the respiratory system. In part one, we're going to be looking at two main learning objectives. The first one you'll see here, we're going to ask you to know the entire structures and their associated functions in the respiratory system. And the second thing is to familiarize yourself with basic diseases of the respiratory system, including um, these diseases that you're seeing here on the screen. In slide two, we're asking you to brainstorm what are some of the deadliest lung diseases. So take a second to think about that. And hopefully some of the things that you come up with are gonna be found on the next slides. Did you say lung cancer, for example? If you did, that's the next screen and we're featuring uh, a slide here on Dana Reeves, who died at 44 due to secondary cigarette smoke and she was the husband of the famous uh, original Superman, Christopher Reeves. And she said she never smoked a day in her life. So um, this article that we're featuring is from March 8th of 2006. And uh, about 10 to 15 percent of people who develop lung cancer are basically non-smokers. So I'd like you to take a look at this article and um, just kind of familiarize yourself with it. And in our next slide, we're taking a look at uh, about a third of all cancer deaths in the U.S. are from lung cancer. 90% of those are for people that smoke. And there's three common types of lung cancer. There's actually more types of lung cancer than that, but the three most common types are squamous cell carcinoma. And that's about 20 to 40% of all cases that arise here in the U.S. And it actually develops in the bronchial epithelium. And the second type, that's the most common is adenocarcinoma. That's about 25 to 35% of all cases. And it actually grows from the peripheral lung areas on the outside of the lung. And the third type is a small cell carcinoma. It's about 20 to 25% of all the cases. And it's a lymphocyte-like cells and they originate in the bronchi and they uh, metastasize pretty quickly. In the next slide, we're talking about another deadly lung disease. This is uh, one that's definitely on the rise right now. This is tuberculosis, and a lot of people know it as TB. Uh, it's caused by the bacterium, mycobacterium tuberculosis, which you see here on the right. These are rod-shaped bacteria, and these are the symptoms that people often experience when they're going through tuberculosis. And basically, it entails about a 12-month course of antibiotics. Now um, we're seeing very drug resistant tuberculosis. So this is similar to like the Staph aureus that we discussed in class uh, last semester uh, that you also know as MRSA, MRSA. It's a drug resistant type of Staph aureus. And now we're looking at drug resistant forms of tuberculosis. And sometimes instead of just 12 months of antibiotic, you're looking at up to two years and possibly two to three antibiotics combined during that therapy course. And of course, this is one of the diseases where if you have this and you present this to your physician, he is required to report this to the CDC and you can undergo quarantine for a couple months and uh, they'll check on you, make sure your meds are being taken and things are being done properly. Hopefully that your disease is getting under control. Highly contagious, spread the same way colds and flus are with the spittum, droplets of infected spit, Airborne sneezes, coughs, handshakes.